Hi, I'm Heather McMillan, and today I'm going to introduce the 100 Days of Virtue Chart. You know, children really need to have those little goals that they can set every day and know that they're being successful to work towards something bigger. What makes this tool different than all the other virtue-related tools that we have on our website? is that it is a chart to help you incrementally build character over the long term with short term goals. This colorful achievement chart is a list of all 12 virtues and 108 caterpillars ready to be covered by 108 butterfly stickers. The caterpillars represent the person we no longer want to be. They represent the antonyms that you'll find on all of our virtue products. The butterflies represent the person that we are becoming as we grow in virtue every day. Here's how to use this tool. Hang it in a prominent place in your home, and then every morning, decide what virtue you are going to focus on as a family. So as everyone leaves the, the breakfast table or leaves the house for the day, the dad, the mom, if it's grandpa and grandma, any of the children going off to school, going off to work, remember, today we're focusing on honesty. Then come back in the evening and share your stories about how you were honest. And if the whole family worked on it together and had success, you'll take a butterfly sticker and put it over one of the caterpillars in the honest category. You could work on honest the next day as well. But the point is to focus on something every single day for 100 days. You will cover every caterpillar with a butterfly. There are actually eight caterpillars that are doubles, and so you'll get two butterflies on that day. And that's just if you happen to see, wow, we were really attentive, and we're earning two butterfly stickers. When all the caterpillars have become butterflies, you will have achieved 100 days of virtue. And here's why that's important. You're actually taking little incremental steps every day to reach a larger goal. And the larger goal is a habit of character change. It's a habit of growth. We're not looking per for perfection. We're looking for incremental changes towards a lifestyle and a new culture in your home of character. Before you begin the chart, discuss what kind of a reward you'd like at the end. After 100 days have been achieved, maybe you want to do an ice cream party and invite friends over. Maybe you have a trip you'd like to take together. Maybe there's something that the whole family would enjoy that you'd like to purchase for, for the family. But setting a goal and saying, if we get here, which we know we will, we will have this one reward at the end. You know, there will be days when you didn't succeed and you felt like we were supposed to be honest today, but all of us struggled, some of us struggled. We're doing this together as a family. So let's just skip it and not have a sticker today and try it again tomorrow. The days don't have to be consecutive. The point is that you're working at it and working towards it. Some days, especially at the beginning, you might skip several days and that's okay. I always suggest that you choose a virtue that's difficult for a few days in a row, and then choose one that's kind of easy for the family. Maybe your family is really, really diligent but struggles with kindness. Well, don't work on diligence for so long and skip to kindness for a little while and give everyone a chance to feel very successful. You know, we really do get what we look for. I love the word focus. Focus means to look intentionally at something to look closely and carefully. So many times we do look closely and carefully at negative things and we see it everywhere and it starts to concern us. But with We Choose Virtues, our hope is that you will take a magnifying glass and look closely and intentionally at the good character that you're looking to find. Look at meal times, look during chore times and homework times and play times. Look when they're just out doing nothing at all, when you're reading and, and just having conversation with each other. Focusing and looking for that one virtue that you have selected to see how many places you can find it. You know, at the very end of the day, it's fun to just get together as a family and talk about where you've seen it. Maybe, maybe one of the parents saw it in a coworker or saw it in their boss. Maybe a, a student saw it in their teacher at, at school or in a friend or in the bus driver. Maybe a, a homeschool parent saw it 
in the, the two or three year old that wasn't in class, but boy, they were being patient. Looking for that virtue and, and holding that magnifying glass up and focusing on it, you will be amazed how often you'll see it and be able to encourage it in your family members.